Hey, what's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Just want to go ahead and thank you for taking the time to watch this video, because obviously we're all trying to raise our scores here. And so I'm going to go over this challenge problem from a recent group tutoring session. That way you can get that experience and keep raising your score. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment on it. That way more people can get the chance to see this video and raise their score just like you. Let's go ahead and get started. So Armand uses a 17 inch piece of tape to connect his desk to his friend's desk. If the desks are each two feet and seven inches wide, how wide are the two desks and tape when connected? So give your answer in yards, feet, and inches. This is the challenge part here because we know how to add, but the problem here is we want our answer in yards, feet, and inches. All right, cool. So starting off here, first things first is read the dang question. The question is, again, how wide are the two desks and tape when connected? So. How wide when connected? That's one of the biggest keywords you can look at there. Because if I'm imagining the situation, I'm essentially thinking of, okay, I've got a desk right here. You know, we can get as fancy as we want to get with it. Sure, whatever. You know, kind of get as fancy as you want, right? But we have that desk. I can copy that over, make another desk over here. And then what we have is a piece of tape connecting the two desks. So I can use a different color for that. You know, I can say that the tape goes from there to there. And obviously the tape isn't that crazy wide, right? But it's all good. It's only 17 inches, but I'm using this to exaggerate the demonstration here, the, you know, the graphic. But again, desk, desk, tape connecting it. And so what do we know? Again, what we want is how wide this all is together. That's what we want. How wide? So blank, you know, yards, feet, inches wide. So how wide is it? Now, what do we have? Well, the information that we have tells us that the desks, so this desk and this desk right here, are two feet and seven inches wide. So two feet, seven inches, two feet, seven inches right there. Cool, so far so good, right? Now next, we're gonna be looking at that piece of tape. So that piece of tape is given to us 17 inches, and that's gonna belong again right there. And so all we're doing now is adding everything together. That's all we're doing. But there's gonna be some conversion happening here because at the end of the day, we want our answer in yards, feet, and inches. Notice how, again, everything is yards, feet, and inches. That's what we want, so let's get to it. So first and foremost, I'll begin by saying, hey look, I wanna add the two feet, seven inches with two feet, seven inches, along with the 17 inches for the piece of tape. Cool. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna go ahead and add this together, and then we're gonna be doing the conversion. That's probably gonna be the hardest part for a lot of us, right? So stick around for that. But just adding everything together, what we're gonna receive here, two feet plus two feet is four feet. And then seven plus seven plus 14, or plus 17, that's gonna be 14 together right there, plus 17, that's gonna give us 31 inches. So right now, we have four feet and 31 inches. Now, here's why this is not a great situation to be in. If you're asking someone, hey, what's your height, man? Typically, you would say, oh, yeah, I'm five foot ten or I'm six foot two, right? People don't say, oh, I'm four foot 17 inches. Get out of here, right? Like, no, we don't say that. We don't talk in those terms. We always want to make sure we break it down into the most understandable way possible. And that's why unit conversions are so necessary. And really quick, before we continue my math party, people, I know you're enjoying this. And you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So here's what we're gonna do. Simply put, what we're gonna do here is see how many of these inches we can turn into feet. Just like that. And so if you don't remember, let's make sure that you write this down. One foot equals 12 inches. And so really what we want to understand here is how many groups of 12 inches are in here? 
because if I take away 12 inches, that's another foot right there. And so let's ask ourselves, how many inches is 31 inches in terms of groups of 12? And so if one foot is 12 inches, we know two feet would be 24, right? If I do three feet, that'll be too much because that would be 36. I only have 31 to work with. And so therefore I can stop right here, two feet. That's what I got. I can go ahead and take out two feet. And so I'm gonna take out 12 inches and 12 inches again, because again, each of these is a foot. And so boom, this will now turn into six feet after we add all of this in. After adding all that in, that is six feet now. And so what is 31? Take away that 24 inches. Because again, take away 12 and take away 12 again for each foot. What do we get? That's seven inches left over. So we have six feet and seven inches. Now, from here, honestly, you can look at your answer choices and be like, yo, this one ends in seven inches. None of these has seven inches at the end. So we can pretty much say that A is the answer if we wanted to. But let me prove to you that A is the answer. We can also look at the conversion from feet to yards. So you have to understand this as well. You have to know that one yard equals three feet. One yard equals three feet, okay? We have to know that, we gotta know that. And so we're gonna use that fact right there and what we're gonna do now is say, hey, how many groups of three do we have? Six feet is the same thing as three feet and three feet, right? Yeah, exactly. And so what we're gonna say is that's one yard and that is one yard. And so that's two total yards. So I can take that six feet and I can turn that into two yards. So I have two yards, seven inches, two yards, seven inches, and that's exactly why A is the answer. So I know this problem is a little unorthodox, not exactly what we're used to, but it's all good because there's still a strategy to go ahead and go by to make sure that we're good at the end of the day. Unit conversions are really important. Hopefully I simplified this for you a little bit. And so with that said, my party people, I'll see you next time. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.